colors. Today's video is sponsored by Diamond Art Club. Okay, so, y'all. <laughs> Diamond painting is something that y'all have been recommending to me so many times in the comments, and I swear I wasn't ignoring you. I just knew that this was in the works, and I was waiting for this to get to me. And now that it is to me, I am absolutely obsessed with diamond painting. I have already been like, super annoying with talking about how much I love to do like a hands-on craft thing while I am listening to audiobooks. And this is definitely going to be either in the rotation of things I do or become the newest thing that I am obsessed with. And it's like all that I do. I mean, you get to listen to a story in your audiobook and you create super pretty, shimmery, glittery art while doing it. Like it's, it's a two for one special. It's a no brainer. It's amazing. Everything you need comes in the kit that comes in the box. You peel back the film and you can see all these different little symbols that tell you where to put what. Once you've decided what diamond piece you want to work on, you pour the little baggie into a tray. You press the applicator onto the wax provided and it makes it super easy to pick up each diamond to then place onto the adhesive canvas. Basically, it's like a super pretty sparkly version of paint by numbers and again, I could not have fallen more in love with it. I just, I I've got half my cat done now and I'm just looking at it like this. I'm just like <laughs> making it shimmer because I'm like mesmerized by the shimmeriness. I just love it. Right now you can save 20% off your first purchase with Diamond Art Club. Go to diamondartclub.com slash Olivia20 and use the discount code Olivia20. The link and the code will be in the description down below as always. And thank you once again to Diamond Art Club for sponsoring today's video. something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost And I looked down Okay, so I put, y'all saw, lemons, cucumber, lots of strawberries to add like some sweetness to it. And I didn't realize it's kind of like, duh, it made it a little bit pinky. But y'all, this is really good. Um, I just have kept it in the fridge and it uh, tastes really nice. It's very refreshing. Okay, so I'm doing my planner. I said I'd show you guys some more of this. This is the kit I'm using. It is from a shop called Cress Press. It's them and Scribble Prints Co. are the two I use. Scribble Prints Co. I have a code for. Cress Press. I simply do not, but I have a love for. And then I'm using this foiling, which is like a gold daisy one. And yes, this is the planner that I use. It's like that on one side, that on the other side. Very cute, love it. But I have this, I have my coffee, and I'm gonna plan, and then we will properly start this vlog off. How about that? Hello everybody, welcome to, or back to the channel. And we are starting off our weekly reading vlog. Um, I am doing this on a Tuesday because yesterday was a day. Okay, it was a day. And I did get a book finished though. I finished up Divine Rivals. So that was really good. Um, it wasn't a five star. I did initially think it would be five stars, but it wasn't the full five stars that I was hoping for. So that kind of sucks. But I am still very intrigued with the ending and reading the next book. And I do think that I will probably like her adult fantasy more because really what I wanted in this world was more of the fantasy elements. So I am gonna be looking, literally I'm looking at it right now, starting her other 
books. For right now though, we are still within the Summerween. So I am probably reading what's going to be one of my last books for it. So the reading vlog that's going to be for this is going to be like a very chill, shorter one that's really just centered on the reading, not so much life. I mean, not this one. This one, guys, when I tell you last week's vlog was an hour and 22 minutes, we are making our way towards a two hour vlog. And then once I get there, no one can stop me. No one can stop me. And I was actually, I had a little bit, a little bit of a crisis last night. Cause I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> like I know I am filming and why I'm like editing and like all of that because I really, really enjoy it. And I guess the same goes for having such long videos. I enjoy it. Like I just, I like doing it. It's really fun to me. And I think that that's a good enough reason. But for some reason, I feel like I need a better reason. Cause not well, I like a lot of people super long vlogs like a lot of people do the lifestyle girlies that i watch that i aspire to be their videos are never shorter than like what my one was last week and i think that's amazing i really like it it also feels more like a chill we're hanging out for a weekly catch-up sesh which i also want to try to bring to my videos and i hope that i can get that across but then sometimes i do look at the length and i'm like this is so bold of you to assume anyone's gonna watch <laughs> It's so long. Here we are starting another one. Who knows how long this one will be. But I do know that I have... So this is just a plain Jane Haynes sweatshirt. Just ordered two more and they just got here. I ordered a green color. That's my favorite color. We're going to see how it looks. Tonight we're seeing Mission Impossible. That's exciting. I also need to show y'all the Lululemon bag. Should I just go get everything? Like, should I just stop saying like, oh, I'm going to do it next clip. Like, let me... Let's just go get it. Okay, I'll be right back. You stay right there, okay? Jake's going to be with you, so don't leave him. Oh my god. <gasps> Jake, back up. I'll show you. I need to vacuum this office. Let me tell you, that's what I just realized. Look at the Lululemon crossbody I got. It's got the cute little logo, of course. It's just the one that... I feel like this is the one that they have. I don't know if it's... It's not like the bigger size or anything, but this is the size I have in all of them. And it just has, like, two pockets on this side one on this side if you want it because I buy, did buy this because I want to wear it to the Barbie movie and I hadn't seen this color before and I really like it. I'll link it if you care. Oh, but then, so honestly, this one is just getting a little like worn. So I just wanted to get a new one. So I did. Imagine I just had a closet full of these. Wouldn't that be a weird reveal? Like you just wouldn't have seen that coming. Then I did buy... Does this say what color it is? No, it doesn't. But I bought this like green gray is what I would kind of call it. And I really like it. Here's it next to the gray. So it's definitely green, but it's a subtle green and I like it a lot. So I like to wear these when we go to the movies cause it's always cold. And sometimes I just don't feel like putting in like effort, you know, to like dress up. So I'm probably gonna wear one of these, some jeans to the movies tonight to see dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. Which brings me to my next point. I am going to continue reading The Man Who Died Twice. This is for the Summerween vlog, so my review of it will be in there, but I will still talk about like when I finish it and things like that in here, just because this is again the behind the scenes of it all. And I'm in a fantasy mood though. So the book that I want to read, so all the books I want to read in this vlog where I'll be like actively updating and talking about them are fantasy books. And one is a new release and then one is one that has its sequel just released and I'm in the middle of, not in the middle, I'm 60 pages in. I've been doing this really bad thing where I get like a hundred pages in and then I'm like, wow, I want the excitement of starting a new book again. Like shut up, read the books you're reading, Olivia, why? So. I think I'm going to keep on with the final strife. I'm listening to this via audiobook. I'm doing, what is it called? Like the blended read, I think is how people call it. Uh, it's, you just like follow along with the audiobook and the physical book at the same time. And I really like it because I've noticed, especially with fantasy books, where there are words that, you know, I may hear, but I don't know how they would be spelled. And if I see them, I don't really know how to say them. I really like to have both versions because uh, my brain works where like if I see it while it's being said, like I'll remember it. But if I only see one or the other, I won't remember it. So 
there's that read but then I also I've said it multiple times in multiple videos I know you guys but I really do want to read this like I think I am finally in more of a epic fantasy mood and orbit never lets me down so I think these are the two fantasies that I would like to read and I know that I'm going to be reading some fantasy romance at the end of the month so i think i have a patreon 48 hour no 24 hour readathon i don't know we start it at a certain time and then finish it the next day at a certain time and there's like two rounds of sprints so i think that's 24 hours but i don't stay up for the 24 hours i can't do that i am someone who needs sleep i get cranky <laughs> If I don't sleep. For that, I think I'm gonna make it a themed 24 hour readathon. It's gonna be fantasy romance themed because our book club book for the Cozy Cafe book club, which is what I call my Patreon because I think it's cute, is The Serpent. I'm having to look it on the shelf because this title is so long. The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. And then I also have the sequel already on deck. So if I want to read that right after, that's an option. I love Chris Robbins writing. I am on and off doing a reread of Daughter of No World so I can finish that trilogy out. I'm very excited to be reading that book and I've heard it's very fast paced, super easy to read. So I'll probably be able to read that in that 24 hour readathon I'm doing at the end of the month. So I'm going to save that for then and that'll be its own vlog for the um, Patreon. But all the other fantasies I want to get to, we're going to be talking about. Oh my god, I just became very aware of my hairline. Okay, so <laughs> that's really all I have to update on that. Now I'm gonna go update the summer ween vlog and take some b-roll for that and just try to get some cozy feelings. Yesterday was the first day of my cycle, so it was cramp central and I just kind of like took the day off of filming because sometimes I'm like, literally no one look at me. <laughs> I don't want to be seen. So I, you know, I had my usual therapy sesh, had some reading that I did. I just started this guy. I am, yeah, like I said, chapter 15. So I'm like almost 100 pages in. It was just a good little cozy time, but I just didn't update because I honestly didn't feel like being in front of a camera, which of course now looking back, I'm like, you should have just filmed an update, but also no, like it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Like I don't think people actually care <laughs> if I film it like every single day, you know? I'm going to get those things done and I think I'm gonna organize my laptop because it actually, I really, I have a um external hard drive that makes me feel like a really professional YouTuber and I need to dump all of like my old vlog footage and videos onto that and it takes at least two to three hours to get all of that off because it's like hundreds of gigs of the footage and I guess I am a vlog footage hoarder. I don't know why. I think it's because to me vlogs are very similar to like a digital journal like a digital scrapbooking kind of thing but just video format and I'm like I don't want to lose any b-roll of Ginger, Jake, or Annabeth ever. <laughs> so I'll keep it all and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that, update, all those things, put stuff away, and I will check in with you guys later. Hi guys, so I um did the organizing stuff while my computer is running in the background doing all that because it takes so long because it's it's so much footage. Um but I don't no, I had oats this morning and usually that's pretty good. Um, we're having a little bit of a late lunch, early dinner because our movie's at six, which is like a little bit of an awkward time, but uh, like it's not enough time to go eat, but it's also not enough time. It's, it's, I don't, <laughs> it's enough time to eat, but it's not enough time to go eat. Do you see? Anyways, literally, Olivia, it doesn't matter. Um, but I have the leftovers from my little kit from what I've done in the weekly, which is my Erin Condren. That's where I put, I just use both planners simultaneously. I'll, like, I'll be so honest. I, I don't mean to, but I just do. So this is the Hobonichi cousin. This is the blank. I use the stickers in here and create like a weekly overview of everything and then in the daily pages I write a lot more of like journaling and things like that so like for yesterday's page I'm gonna use it for my like therapy notes and just all of that fun stuff but I did just want to come on and say it because I uploaded my video and I'm surprised at how well it's doing but I'm more just like so happy and just like a little teary we'll blame it on the the PMS but y'all are just so nice <laughs> in the comments and 
I get so nervous to talk about like anxiety and mental health and stuff because I feel like talking about especially what I call it is like nebulous anxiety where I just feel it physically there's not an external cause of like I'm in this situation and it's making me anxious it's more of this thing reminded me of this thing and now my body's reacting but like I don't need to be reacting that kind of so like meditation and I used to hate it now we're best friends like I go out on that back porch and I'm just rocking and a rolling like I'm rolling all of the thoughts I'm grounding I'm melting I'm meditating like I'm doing it <laughs> that is my era that I'm currently in and um all of a sudden I don't really know why right now so I'm trying to think of it and think on it I don't know if it's because I've had coffee because that's why I brought up the oats usually that helps me I've had my coffee but I had more coffee than usual so I'm thinking maybe that's what it is and maybe I'm just I need to like pull back on that relax so I did bring out the big guns. <laughs> so I have this and I'm going to do my little spread in my planner like I said and do one more sprint with the patrons and I just think like that will help but I also am like we're going to get together because I got to finish my little mystery book for this vlog I'm putting up. I think that it's just it's hard to come to terms with like you're just an anxious person and that is and it's not bad and it's not good it just is and that's hard. But talking to you guys in the comments on the last video it makes me feel much better about talking about this and it makes me feel better about it in general and I just really appreciate you guys and I really like being able to talk to you guys about it and you know it's not like the most fun thing. It's not like I'm hauling, you know, a bunch of books and a bunch of cute new athleisure. We'll do that afterwards because the next step in this is online shopping <laughs> and apparently it's Prime Day so yeah, but I'll show you guys my little spread in my planner before in both of them before I actually like put down any stickers and write anything in it because I don't really like showing afterwards with all my stuff in it, but I like showing like the bare bones outline. So I'll show you guys that, but we'll see if this helps. If not, it may just be an anxious day and oh well, I tried, you know? Okay, I finished the setup for both of these. These are, you know, just the spread before I like write in it, do any of that stuff. This is the Erin Condren planner, then this is what it looks like in my Hobonichi cousin. And yeah, this is my planning system that I use. This is all from the same kit. I do this every week. I love it a lot. And then I have like the daily pages that just look like this and I just journal and stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because I think it's very cute and very pretty. I'll try to do some cuter b-roll close-ups.
Okay, the littlest goblin is eating. I brought these flowers out because I was like, I want them out here. But uh, this is Annabeth's bathtub. We're doing a, don't look at that dish, it's my mortal enemy. We're doing a bath, a bath today. Well, it's a soak. So you soak because it helps with their like, going to the bathroom and then also just staying hydrated. But did I say turtle or tortoise? I haven't had coffee, so forgive me, father. But uh, I am going to go do that now and I'll show you guys. She usually likes it, but she also usually likes to fight with me. So we'll just see how it goes. It's really hard to have a teenage daughter, you know? I've got the youngest goblin out here helping me, helping me. Oh, oh. He's also got allergies in his little eye. He got his medicine this morning, so he's very happy about the hot dog, but he also is very happy to roll in the grass, which is awesome. That doesn't, that doesn't help the allergies at all. We're gonna play spot the tortoise, because <laughs> I love this game. So here's a little cave I made for her and she totally dug it up and wrecked it. Love that. Here's that. Oh, oh, is that? Oh my god, there she is. Never mind, she is happy camper. Look at her, this little cutie. Gotta wash that shell though. Good morning, good morning. Hello, 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 hello. Um, that's fine. Uh, I had to put you on my laptop on a few pillows because I was trying to film a clip and it was going a little crazy. So it didn't go well. Um, it's like 8 a.m. Hello. I decided to get up early because it is, what did I say in the past, last clip? I tried to film this but my camera kept falling down off of the back of the headboard. Oh, yesterday was a brain goblin day. It was a brain gremlin day actually because it was at night, which is why I usually try to go to bed by 9.30, reading at 9.30, sleeping by 10, 10.30 at the latest. I actually want to make that even earlier bedtime, so we will see how that goes. But it's also a pain day because of the crampage. So I have a coffee in bed. I had some oats because it is the morning and that's what I always eat because I just freaking love them, man. I just do. And I journaled a lot this morning, so that's great. Love that. It looks really cute. I'm trying to work on my handwriting and just, you know, all those things, but I just gave Annabeth a little soak and it was a very short one. We're gonna have to do a longer one later. Um, and I'll probably bring her inside to do it because I don't know why I thought I should do it outside. I usually try to because it's nice outside and the, you know, the wind and it's cool in the morning, but there was a yellow jacket that was really trying to start a war. And if it was just me, I would have ran. I would have been like, woo, woo, woo. I did start to run. And then I was like, oh, my child. And I had to fight to the death. No, just kidding. It's fine. It flew off. But I would have. <laughs> I was armed with spray. Um, but last night we saw, what did we see? Mission Impossible. I love the Mission Impossible movies. I think that honestly, sometimes action movies kind of camp. And Mission Impossible, I love that it, it leans right on into all the tropes and all the things that, you know, we want to see of them saying like, accept. I do not accept this. And I know that like, there were people that said that it was cringy, Tom Cruise's line regarding uh, like that is written. But honestly, I thought it was great. I love that line. I was like, mm, yes. And I love Benji. I love Benji. During all of the like, that scene of him jumping from the mountain. Luther, fantastic always. I just love it. I love the OG3. I mean, they're the OG3 in my head. And the new characters were fine. Some of the decisions, I was like, girl, stop. I don't understand, but that's okay. So like, as I predicted, it did make me want to pick up the next Orphan X book. So I have this one out of the dark. It is the fourth book in this series. The ninth book just apparently got release title and release date and the cover and everything. And my mom sent it to me in the text this morning and I was like, oh, I gotta catch up. So I'm on book four, four more books to read after this. So I have five total that I need to read before I can get to book nine when it comes out and it comes out in February. So I have, oh, I also have to read Empire of the Vampire because Empire of the Damned comes out early next year. So does House of Shadow and Flame and so does this book. 
I have a lot to do, <laughs> but I only read the prologue in the first chapter of this. So I'm on chap I'm on page 17, chapter two. And let me tell you, they just got right into it. They just, the last sentence of this is so good. Like the last sentence of chapter one is so good. And I want to tell it to you. And like, I want to say it to you, but I'm not going to in case anybody out there decides to pick this up. The realization that you have at the end of book three First of all, it makes book two worth getting through. Second of all, it's just like, oh my God, that's where we're going? Okay, and it's great, it's great. So I have this. I just did a little rough cut editing for all of my Tuesday clips for this vlog. So that's done. That's nice, that's great. Gonna drink water, drink coffee. I don't think I'm in the mood to read my little mystery and thriller. Like this is, I don't know, I don't know. I guess this is technically a thriller, but it's more of like a spy thing. It's not like a psychological thing. Sometimes when I read thrillers too many back to back, it just is like my brain does not like it. So yeah, it's really weird because horror movies and scary movies don't make me anxious at all because like I just am, I can see it. It's not real. And a lot of the times with like the reveals of like the monster or what's happening, it makes it not scary anymore. And I just really like movies, but with books, it feels like it gets in my head a little bit more. And that's why I can't read them as much as I can like watch the movie counterpart. So I'm going to read my little spy my little spy novel and drink the rest of this coffee try to chug this whole water go fill it up again and just kind of like oh I don't know be kind to myself and not beat myself up because I can't do things also who allowed me to make the decision that my only goal for this week was to walk every single day in the morning at when I'm literally about to like start my cycle like why did I think that that was gonna happen literally I like haven't been walking at all first thing Never too late to change your weekly goals. I'm learning that. Be kind to yourself. Second thing, my goal now is to have any kind of movement. So even if that's just a little bit, that's great. And we're going to aim for the weekend because everything should be passed and over by then. So that's good. But I think I'm going to make my everyday goal. This is, this is... Uh, this is a thing. So what I've noticed really helps with my anxiety is there do, does come a point where I have to just be like, okay, got it. Heard ya a lot. And you can only acknowledge and feel your feelings for so long before you're like, we gotta move on. Like I literally, I can, I can be with my feelings, but I cannot be in them for the rest of ever until they leave. Especially if you have like thought spirals like moi. So what I like to do, this is like my little routine ritual thing, is I have my big old water bottle, which is why I bought the Stanley like 64 ounce because it also is like very heavy and I set it on my like on my like chest I have a pillow up to it because I literally can't put it on my chest but like I put a pillow up to it and it rests back against my chest and so it's a little heavy when it's full of water which it's literally always full of water and ice so it's kind of relaxing in that sense but then I just drink it and I'm working on doing like breathing from my stomach like deep breathing instead of like in my chest which you can deep breathe in your chest but doing it in my stomach takes more brain power because I don't feel it to me, at least, it comes as naturally when I'm awake. I don't know what I'm doing when I'm asleep. When I'm awake, it's not. And then I read a book. So I'm drinking my water, focusing on my breathing, reading a book. It turns into this, like, almost a meditative state of calm, just enjoying the story, relaxing. It takes a minute for me to get into it, and it took months for me to be able to, like, kind of realize that that's what I was doing and then that's what I needed to like start to practice and hone in on but it works it works and this is why part of me is starting to I used to be so like meditation are you joking but I thought that's because you were just supposed to bank your brain silent I was like yeah good luck probably not even when I'm gone and passed like it'll still be whirling let's be so honest with ourselves here but when I realized meditation is kind of like I mean you can really you can utilize it and make it how you want. Like there is definitely like what it actually is and what it's like meant to be and all those things, but you can kind of like mold it to fit with you and what you need. And for me, 
that is like doing the deep stomach breathing drinking water which is always good for you to drink water it's just very calming to have like such a cold taste and you can like track it going it's just it it does help too and then reading so if you ever need to find like a wind down thing to do and i do this at any point in the day and it helps it really does like it just it just helps that's why i feel like i'm so boring on sprints because half the time i just fall like i'm just like and then I do my thing and then I'm like hi guys let's talk for five minutes and then 90 more minutes of me chilling you know I wouldn't change it like I really like this version of reading that I got going on but I will say it's much easier to do that with fast-paced books like this which I don't feel are like the kind of thrillers that kind of make me anxious sometimes or with like fantasy books or historical really I'm thinking of Veronica Speedwell like things that you have to really pay attention to so mysteries this is more of a mystery to me so mysteries and fantasies work fantastic with this process um sometimes thrillers but really not the only one and I classify her as a mystery author but Ruth Ware does that's like the only like thriller author that I think it works for because it's not gonna make me anxious because some books I really do find that I am like oh it's like a lot of chest breathing hello what's going on here anyways um awesome great love a breathing talk in the morning what am I talking about um okay <laughs> I was thinking that remember the Wendy Williams meme what was that Okay, um, I, do I really need to, I was like, okay, I, you just saw my thought process. I was like, do I really need to go in for a second day in the row and tell you guys how much I appreciate you and how much I love the comments on the last video and that they mean a lot to me and they mean the world to me? Mm, probably not. I probably don't need to do it again. Did I just in a roundabout way figure out how to do it? Mm, that's a secret I'll never tell. XOXO. <laughs> Uh, but for now, I'm gonna put on a little jazz ambiance room on the telly. I I may watch some more of my lifestyle vlogs. I'm not really sure. Because sometimes I just need to like be around positive energy. And I'm gonna tell you, Miss Sunny is positive energy as a human being. I know I've talked about her in like three videos right now, but I don't care. I don't care. Am I a fan? Yeah, I am. Sue me. I love it. I love her channel. I think she's amazing. She literally brings my mood up all the time. I've just talked myself into watching Sunny, so I'm gonna do that with some jazz in the background, drinking my water, reading my book, living the best life I can currently get to right now with what's going on up here, and that's good. That's good. It's not good enough, it's great. It's wonderful. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your day is going so far. How's your week? What's going on? It's Wednesday, so I feel like we kind of know the tone of the week, but you can always switch it. You can always change it. So what's happening? What are we doing? What's your favorite thing this week? What is your current like obsession? What is the thing? Because my current obsession is white chocolate sauce in my espresso in the morning. Why? I don't know. It's like I just looked to the side of my espresso machine and remembered I had it. It's like when I rediscover white chocolate uh, mochas from Starbucks once a year and I'm like, oh my, what is happening? Although now I have to get it with less sauce because it is sugary. I just remembered chestnut praline is a thing. Oh my god, and pumpkin spice. Oh, I did order, so I had to reorder a toasted marshmallow syrup because that's my favorite, by the way, for Monin. Mm, so good. And then pumpkin pie is the other one I got. I ordered pumpkin spice from them. It's good, but it's more, it doesn't feel like pumpkin spice. It just feels like a little bit of a spice flavor, which I like. And it's really good in a little hot latte. So I recommend it for that, but it's not really providing PSL. So I got the pumpkin pie syrup and we're going to see how bad it. Hopefully it's good. It, I don't know what I'll do if it's not. I mean, suffer, I guess, but... Hopefully it's good. That'd be nice because I really want to find one that I can use at home so I don't have to go to Starbucks every day of September and October, but <sighs> will I probably end up doing it? Yes. Yes, I will. And are we going to do a tally of how many pumpkin spice lattes I get this year? No. No, we're not. And we're certainly not going to tally up the chestnut praline because that would be worse. That would be so embarrassing. Good morning. 
happy Thursday. So I just got back from getting Central Market with a, I think it's too tall of a straw. And then a little butter croissant. And um, yeah, all I can think about when I look at my hat is my partner saying that I'm in my Joel Goldberg era. But I am about to sit down and drink this coffee eat this croissant and watch Real Housewives of Orange County. Orange County is a little interesting. Orange County is very much just like typical, not that deep, petty housewives drama, friendships breaking up, getting back together within the same episode. Like it's that. And I didn't realize I missed that. I am enjoying this season of that and I'm gonna watch it on the telly. I've chosen, usually I watch it on my laptop or something, but I feel like watching it on TV. I feel like not being near my phone today. So actually I think I'm gonna make today a no phone day. We're gonna set a daily goal of me not going on this thing. I'm gonna put it right here next to my TBR books. Well, my new release TBR books so that I don't lose it, but it's not somewhere I'd think in about 30 minutes, my brain will reset and I'll forget that I put it there. Anyways, update on reading. So I'm reading two things. The Man Who Died Twice, I, Listen, I'm just not gonna finish anything else for my little summerween blog and that's fine. But I made it to page 100, chapter 22. And this is just like a nice little comforting read whenever I'm feeling anxious, which is always right now at this point. I'm just gonna be really honest with you guys. I'm having a great time. Um, I'm feeling very anxious. I'm feeling very drained. N not even low energy, but like no energy from feeling so anxious and having to do all of like the work in my head. Like it's exhausting. This might be like very low energy, but good vibes. You know, that's... I'm just trying to at least bring that to the table. Oh, I don't know. And then this book is what captured my attention last night. I read just a little bit more. I was pretty tired, like I said, because of those reasons. But I got to chapter 10, 60, 60 pages in. <laughs> and um, this, is, this is great. I, again, I can't really say why I'm loving it so much because it's, I don't know. It's like, it would be a spoiler to where this all goes. But let me just say, it is so good. Like it goes all the way to the top. All the, the cover up goes to the top. And one thing I love, so there was this thing and he kind of reminds me of Ethan, what's his last name? From Mission Impossible? Hunt. Ethan Hunt. He reminds me of Ethan Hunt. I wonder if he was inspired by him. He was sitting at a coffee shop and he had like salt in one hand, a matcha latte in one hand that he got extra steamed milk. And then he had nudged his foot up under the wobbly table. And then all of these um, officers come in and chase him down. They're like, you know, about to get him. And he goes, okay, so if you really want to start this game, here's how it's going to go. And he like tells them each play by play, what he's going to do to each one, how it's going to impact him. And then he's like, so should I just go? Or do y'all want to like continue? And then they all raise their weapons at the same time. And then he goes, yeah, okay, let's prepare. And then just starts. And the next chapter cuts to like a whole different scene. And I love it because it literally read like a scene in Mission Impossible. And it was great. And it was comical. And this, these are getting a little bit more comical. I like it. I do indeed like it. So that is where I'm at reading wise. I think it's just going to be a little bit of a slower reading month with me, which is fine. I'm not too upset about that. Um, but other than that, I do need to record the ad read that you guys saw at the beginning of this for the diamond painting. I did a lot of diamond painting yesterday, which I knew y'all were right. You weren't going to lead me astray. Those are really fun. Here's my thing. I keep buying paint by numbers that I can hang up and it will look cute as art. So they're more expensive paint by numbers, but they're very pretty and I like them. I don't know what to do with my diamond paint. Like I, cause I kind of want to frame this one and put it on the new credenza thing behind the couch. I think that would look really cute. And I do like this one that they've sent me and it's very sparkly. I also like that. And if I put it there, it would get a lot of sunlight. So I think I want to do that. But then I'm also like, why? I never know how frames work. I always buy a frame that's either too small or too big. It's never just right. I'm never the Goldilocks of frames. It's so sad for me. Anyways, you didn't ask about that, but that's okay. Don't worry. I'll always provide you <laughs> with more information than you asked for or needed. I did want to say that based on watching a couple reading vlogs, I have gotten in the mood to read this big old book again. I want vampires in my life and I want them like high fantasy, not romantically, you know, that kind of vibe. So I have that here just in case because I do want to read that next. And I think I want to read that. I think I want to finish 
this and then start that and then keep this series going in the background. But I don't want to binge through the Orphan X series, but I also kind of do. Because I feel like this series just had a slow start to it, but now I'm like very invested in it. Like I really care what's going on. Like I want to know. So anyways. I do have sprints tonight. I had to delay them yesterday because I had a headache, which is also why for my readathon vlog, I'm just gonna have to close it out because I, again, that headache, I was not getting any reading done. I got reading done last night after we ate, after we chilled, after we, you know, gelled. <laughs> we watched um, a movie reaction channel react to the menu. And I don't know why it's so funny. It's like, we gel, gel, gel. I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's not funny. It's not even a memorable scene, but it was to me. I'm gonna go now and watch my Little Housewives yell. Um, I think it's a fantastic pastime, and that's my opinion. And eat my breakfast, and then try to finish off some books so that I may... Actually, I think it's just whichever of these two I get done first. Then I'll move on to my Empire of the Vampire moment. Goodreads showed me the cover for the second one, and I was like, whoa, that is... Beautimous. It is beautimous. But then I also want to get back to the shadow cabinet because this is one of my most anticipated reads of the year. Maybe, maybe this is what I do. I finish these two books, Dunzo, out the way. Then I read these two books, Dunzo. That's my plan up until the last, what is it? Not this coming weekend. So like not tomorrow, not that next weekend, but the weekend after that, I have my 24 hour readathon on Patreon. And then I can read my little fantasy romance books I wanna read. I think that, I think we got them y'all. I think we did it. We did it, Joe. We did it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Okay, we are in a little bit of a low lighting situation but we're making it work. Um, I am here with an update that I'm sure none of you expected. We are not going through with any of the previous choices that I gave you about reading because I've decided to follow my heart and specifically which part of my heart the part that rachel catherine holds um this is another youtube channel that i absolutely love i've mentioned her before i i probably too many times but i'm still gonna link her down below because i think that if you guys like my stuff you will definitely like hers very cozy very relaxing very calming and honestly kind of my go-to at the current moment when i'm feeling anxious i just rewatch all of her vlogs, like anything she puts out. I also got totally inspired by her. I'm putting together a list of TBR prompts to make a TBR jar. That's gonna be its own video later on in August, I think. We're just gonna have a day of it. Like we're just gonna, it's gonna be a vlog. We're gonna go get a cute jar. I'm thinking home goods, write all the prompts out, do all the things, and I'm gonna start using it in September. And I'm really excited about it. But she's why I wanted to start that. Like I've known the concept. I just really, really liked how she does it because it's not book titles, it's prompts. So that it like gives you an idea, but it can be mood read. So I can set a TBR-ish at the beginning, but I can also change it because whatever, fits the prompt, fits the prompt, you know? And I feel like that's a way of making a TBR that doesn't make mood reading impossible because that's me, I'm just a mood reader girl. She is currently getting her world rocked by Chain of Thorns in this vlog I'm watching of hers. So I went ahead and I picked up Chain of Iron because I did start reading it because my good, good bestie Mel told me that I would really like it. I already, first of all, Cassandra said, Cassandra, clear, stand. Let's stop talking too fast, Olivia. Relax. <laughs> been been with her since 
when City of Not Heavenly Fire, I think the one previous to that, The City of Lost Souls, I believe, was the first book of hers that I was like, okay, I'm in. Oh, what if I looked at the like list of all of her books right here? City of Fallen Angels had just come out and I remember because I was in Colorado and my grandfather drove me down to get it even though no one wanted that to happen because we were not supposed to be driving on this specific road because of, I don't remember, some natural disaster. One second, the sprint's ended. So I actually have to go end the sprints really quick. Mm, I'll be right back. Hello from the chat who definitely caught me updating the vlog very much very much Hello vlog. Hello vlog. Hello vlog. It is us the sprinters the elusive sprinters. I always talk about <laughs> Hello vlog. The only problem is all right. I'm back. <laughs> I was just closing out those sprints as you saw and Now Jake is trying to see if we're about to leave. We are. I don't recall what I was gonna say But I am gonna go read this. I am almost 200 pages in and I'm just in the mood for this world I want this is the thing with fantasy. I want a fantasy that's not gonna upset me in a specific way I don't really know how to phrase it like this is like there are high stakes. I guess like, people definitely don't always live in Cassandra Clare books, but it's just, I don't know. It doesn't feel as serious, <laughs> I guess. I don't really know how to say it, but like all the other books I want to read, even I thought about doing Oathbringer, that's like war. It's so sad. I don't want to read those, but I do, but I don't, because it may not go well, you know? I feel like I need to just have a more low-key, high-stakes fantasy thing. Also, I've already read every single book she's read or wrote, so I know this world, but it's still, this story is new. I think that's what it is, because I don't really want to reread anything, but I want to be somewhere I'm comfortable in. That's... I think that's the best way to say it, is I want something new, but I'm comfortable. And so The Man Who Died Twice, that world is very comfy to me, so I like it. That's going to be ongoing. And then this one, I'm going to put at the forefront as just, let's not be sad and fall into a slump. Let's read something. So this is the something. But yeah, I'm going to go eat dinner now and read some of this before Betty Bye. And the Orphan X book is still going on too. That book is like, I don't know why it's comfy, but it is. I like it. It's very fast paced. It's very drama. I like it. I think I'll continue with this and this. We're, I guess we're having a little series moment. But you know what? I'm already so into these worlds that I guess that it is like kind of comfy for me because I know them, you know? It's not like something new where I'm having to learn everything all over again, but enough over explaining. That is so bright to my eyeballs, but the lighting is so much better like this. Oh, I'll leave. <laughs> So we went outside to water all the plants and then bring Annabeth in because it's a little too hot today. And look at this guy. He got into a fight with the water hose. Jacob, what do you have to say for yourself? He said you should see the other guy. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. But he looks like a mess. Hello, hi, how are you guys doing? I wanna put my hair up, but also it looks awful if I put it up right now. So we're gonna film it like this for the moment. Um, I have a good update to bring to you. Bath and Body Works Halloween stuff went on sale today. And of course I'm a member. And so I bought, well I bought more leaves candles because I want to keep stock and they were on sale. Don't know why, but they were. So I bought them. And then I also bought one of the candle holders that is from the Halloween collection that I actually think will fit in our house, even not during Halloween. So I'm excited about that. And then I bought the car scents things. They were like three for 11. So very excited. Now I'm going to go clean up the dining table and everything because we are doing a like sip and paint date night at home. We both got paint by numbers so I'm gonna set them up so that we could do them, have dinner, watch a movie. I'm either gonna say that we can watch like a little spooky movie perhaps or we could do a like continuation with only murders in the building but that's what's looking like it's on the block. 
and I do want to read some Chain of Iron. So I think I'm going to go get a McDonald's Coke because you can literally tell my brain is lagging right now. We'll see if that helps. Unfortunately, I do have to do, I try so hard not to look at a screen when my head feels like this, but I have to like edit the diamond painting stuff, which I'm still having a lot of fun with the diamond painting, y'all. I really like it. Um, if you have any recs of like any different designs, let a girl know because I am liking it a lot. I also bought some cross stitch stuff, so I want to get back into that. I My favorite thing that I've ever done still to this day is cross stitch. It takes a lot of brain power for me, so I really find it very soothing. Um, and I need to get back into it. My grandma cross-stitched me a bookmark, which is like my favorite bookmark I have. I use it for very specific books. Cassandra Clare is one of them because my grandfather, who's married to that grandma, is the one that got me the book when we were visiting them in Colorado. They live down here now, but when we were visiting them in Colorado, it was a time that a road was closed. We definitely weren't supposed to be driving down to that Barnes & Noble. I think that's what I was talking about yesterday. We still went, grabbed the book, went back up. Fit, I finished it in like a day and they were like, well, now the road's like really, really close. So read it again. And I did. <laughs> so that's why I have like, I'm just, are you that way? It doesn't even have to be with books. It can be with books, movies, items. I do that too, where I just get super attached to things because I attach like the memories and furthermore, the emotions of the memories onto that thing. So I get like other than that, I am gonna go finish this little edit because I don't want to look at the screen for the rest of my life. Go get a Coke. I might get some fries. We might, you know, really just live a crazy little, crazy little afternoon here. Midday fries instead of a midday matcha. Who, who, who knows? Who knows? I know. I'm gonna go do it. Uh, and I will check in later. Hello. Um, what is it doing? Looks all good. Okay, it is Saturday and I am, I'm feeling a little better today. So I wanted to talk to you about nothing. <laughs> Story of these vlogs. Um, I did finish my little Orphan X book, Into the Dark. So I'll need to go pick up the next one from the library at some point. I think I'm gonna take a pause on that and read Chain of Iron tonight. I did read a chapter of it. I'm on chapter 10 now. And it's like, I just broke over 200 pages into it. So I'm really liking it. But I decided when I am not feeling, I've decided when I'm not feeling good, I tend to do a fun thing where I stop working out. I stop doing my skincare. I stop doing any kind of things that are like just for me in that realm. And so I'm going to take a shower while listening to um, the last podcast, which is, well, it's the last podcast on the left. They are one of my faves. Actually, they're kind of the only one that I listen to um, all the time. But I'm going to listen to their Manhattan Project Part 2. They're doing a five-part series, so I'm listening to all of it. I also did book tickets for um, Oppenheimer and then Barbie next weekend when it comes out. We're doing a double feature. And I think that that is the best order to see them in. But I did want to show you some skincare stuff that I got in the mail yesterday. And then also the two things from the Target haul that was in the monthly reset that I'm like obsessed with. So the first thing is the Method Body Cucumber Seaweed Green Tea Daily Zen. It looks like these. I will link it down below. I have the Target link. I'll try to find the Amazon link if you prefer that. Just so... If you want to try them, you can try them. But then the raw sugar um, sugar scrub, I'm loving this too. Uh, it's the lemon sugar one. I'm a soda flavor. They're both vegan though, and I really like them. I really like them a lot. Well, actually, this is plant-based, so I don't know if it's fully vegan. This one does advertise as such, but it's cruelty-free, which is it's good. That's the goal. But I have the new influencer in my life, uh, Miss Rachel from Rachel Catherine. I already mentioned her twice before probably. So I did order the skincare she talks about, the Kita skincare, I believe it is. And the one that I'm most excited about is this one. It is the Hydrating Gel Exfoliant. And I'm excited to use it in the morning 
because you're supposed to use it twice a day, but I like to use, oh, well, I guess my cleanser is already in the shower, but I like to use my cleanser and then Paula's Choice, Paula's Choice Exfoliant at night and then do my ordinary skincare stuff that I have. Um, but I wanna use this in the morning because apparently it leaves your skin super, super smooth, which would be nice because then it would be easier to put makeup atop it. So that is exciting. And then I got two serums. I think this was like a pack. I can't remember. I did see that there was like a bundle. I think I just got the bundle, but it's the, I think this is algae, but she says algae, but she's also from Australia. So I don't know if that's why or if I'm wrong. So I'm just putting it out there. And then the Mochi Skin Serum. Those are the two. And then they're just in these like super cute bottles that look like this. And for the record, I've not tried any of these yet. I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning. I think I'll probably try them tomorrow morning before we go on our little grocery coffee weekly date thing. But I just wanted to show you like these two I have been using since I got them in the monthly thing and I love them a lot and I would highly recommend them and I'm gonna use them today because I apparently really, really react well to aromatherapy and just having all the smells, very calming. Speaking of, one second, um, just speaking of good scents, I decided uh, the first, the first and like still probably biggest influencer in my life currently is Miss Jackie Ina, and she has a brand called Forever Mood, and they have a, I wanna say it's quarterly, cause the last one was in April, and then this one is in July, so is that quarterly? I think so. Anywho, they have a quarterly candle subscription, and I decided to just finally join up, sign up for it. I have bought a bunch of her candles before, really, really love them. And then these are scents that you can only get if you're in the candle subscription. And I love clean and fresh scents. So the first one is Mojito Mo Problems. And then the second one is Soap Opera. I have to say my partner's favorite, my favorite. This one's my partner's favorite. This one is my favorite. Um, the only problem is <laughs> they were shipped on their sides. So it looks like that inside. And I just bought a candle warmer, so maybe I can put these under the candle warmer and it will still be able to be used. Her candles are really strong. I could honestly just take the lid off of it, put it next to my bed and probably still smell them, which is amazing to me. Like, I think that that's such a great quality candle that it's that, nah, potent doesn't sound positive, but it's just that strong of a scent, like in the, in the best way, because this, literally smells like you just dunked your head into your fresh dry sheets in the um, dryer and that scent of your detergent. But like the expensive version of that because this does not smell like gain. It smells really nice though. And I really like it. And I wanna get detergent that does smell like it. We'll see if I can use the candle warmer for that. But I did reach out to them and I sent them pictures and I was like, hey, I think it's because they were shipped on their side because if they were shipped upright, then they would still probably melt because I'm not like, listen, I'm under no false pretenses that they're not gonna melt. It is a candle, it is summertime, even not in summertime. Shipping, like warehouses are hot, vehicles are hot, like, you know, the whole thing. If they were upright, they would have just like remelted, you know, which maybe they wouldn't have the prettiest shape, but all the other ones got to me perfectly fine, actually. So I don't know, but she has a box that the other ones come in. These look bigger to me than the ones that I've got previously. These are 10 ounces, but anyways, also in this, it was a, if you've seen my Chamberlain coffee mason jars, it's like that, except for Forever Mood. So I was obsessed. I love it. It's so cute. So I'm gonna definitely be using that soon for the coffee. Maybe tomorrow morning I will. And then this month, she just sent out an email. She, as if I'm talking to her, look at my parasocial jumping out. Her team sent out an email about how this month's one, like it, it charges the last week of July, I think, and then it's shipping the week of her birthday in August. And it's got like the two candles, which is the usual, but then there's two extra gifts. So you're paying for the candles and like the gift is an extra thing. So like that cup was an extra thing. And I think it's really cute. 
I love Forever Moods logo, so I'm into it. But then there's an extra one, which makes me excited. I don't know why, I just am. So anyways, if you like more luxury scent kind of things, I would definitely recommend this brand. But it is, these are like the most expensive candles I've ever bought. Usually I'm definitely a Bath and Body Works sale kind of girl. These just smell like I'm staying in a fancy hotel and I love it so much, but it's, it's my house. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, the plan, I just ran and got a midday matcha and I did pick up some more of the little petite vanilla bean scones that were named after me. <laughs> and I'm going to have those probably after dinner, honestly. I don't really want to have them before because I feel like I need, I really want tofu and rice. Like, ah, that sounds so good. I want tofu, rice, maybe cucumber and avocado. That's like our normal spicy sticky tofu. I want that though. So maybe that, but I'm gonna have the midday matcha after I shower and do my skincare and just kind of chill, read my book, maybe watch a vlog or two. Just the routine, the routine. But I'm trying my hardest to stay off of my email and then like any socials, any like comments, YouTube studio, that kind of thing. Um, I can watch YouTube videos, but I'm trying not to go into like my YouTube, you know? So I have an all day, which is really good for me. And I'm proud of that, that's nice. So let's see if I can keep it up. But I do wanna watch a vlog. I'm in the mood to watch someone being excited about reading because that always makes me really excited about reading. So I may go watch a vlog who's reading Chain of Iron, but doesn't spoil it, you know? Just like get the vibes because I, I want the vibes. And you know who has that vlog? Sorry, I'm a fan. I don't know, I'm fully embracing it. I'm gonna go, bye. Hello, I have a little ambiance jazz cafe room on the background. One thing that I have come to terms with is that's just always gonna be on at my house. Just is, simply, simply is. I was just, um, as I literally always am doing, sending voice memos back and forth with one of my best friends. Hi, Ginger. <laughs> it was her, no, just kidding. But we were sending it back and forth and I was like, sorry, I'm simply not gonna turn it off because it's so calming. And we were talking about anxiety, which is not. So it was nice to have it on. And she was like, never turn that off again. And I'm like, no. But that is what I have on at all times. I just find coffee shop jazz so calming. Like it is one of the things, it's that drinking water and that sweet, sweet meow that is so kind and not so jarring. Would you like to come over here? Oh no, you just want to scream. No, I can see where the logic is. That, I don't know why I told you that. I'm gonna have that on. I found a little reading vlog from someone. I've watched a few of their vlogs, but not too many. So it's like, it's like a getting out of a reading slump vlog, which I'm not in a reading slump, but when one sneaks up upon you, you know, and it's probably good to have this knowledge. I did get a t-shirt in the mail yesterday and I just wanted to show you because I thought it was so cute. It's from my management, but look at those little guys. Look at those little guys. And then on the back, it's me. Guys, it's literally me. An avocado vlogging. <laughs> me walking down Central Market, getting groceries every week, all of the older people, because we always go. I am an old person. Um, and I'm not talking like, you know, oh, 10 years, 20 years older than me. No, I'm talking like 60, 70. I think honestly, I could move into like a 55 active or a 65 and up like community and I would thrive. Like I think I would be really good friends. And I think that because I read things like this and also I know pretty cool rad old people. And I just think that I would love to be a part of that. Like I think I would be, I'd be out on those pickleball courts. Don't even know how to play it, but I'd be there. 7 a.m. sharp. But I love going to places at the times that, you know, stereotypically older people would. That's me in Central Market. And they're like, why is this girl filming putting lemons on the scale to print out the ticket to scan at the checkout? And I'm like, that's how I pay for these lemons. <laughs> oh, but okay. I did want to say, remember when I said that I was obsessed with the Abercrombie pants? Yeah, so I bought a couple more pairs. Highly recommend. I just wanted to tell you the exact, you know what I should do? I should just link it, but I'm still gonna tell you too verbally in case you wanna like exit out and go find it. But it's the 90s straight ultra high rise curve love and then the ankle straight 
curve love. I get ankle straight short and I am obsessed with these pants. They are so comfortable. It's a little awkward because I guess I'm actually in between sizes. So these are a little big, but then the other ones are a little small. So I just go with this because I can just throw them in the dryer, you know, and they'll just be a little bit baggy at the end of the day, which is fine. But I love them. I'll link them. I got so many different washes because I've just never enjoyed jeans this much that I probably did a little bit too much but I can honestly say I'll never do it again unless I replace one because I've like torn it or something. But I need to build that Ikea drawer that Baroque. I got the replacement and I need to build it. Except the problem was that I built it and the small ones of that, because you have to put the backing in, right? There's like a lip and you have to angle the backing to fit under the lip and then it's like all good and grand. But I can't do that with one that is longer than my wingspan, <laughs> which is dramatic, but also, okay, if I factor in how frustrated I get with it, it takes away from my wingspan and in PEMDAS, it is true. So I'm right, that's it. I can't do it. I can do the small ones because they're really easy, but it's the ones that are just the longest version, which is what I have for jeans and stuff. I can't. And I thought, oh, I'll outsmart it. I'll just like jam it up in there. Didn't work. Didn't work. Started Boeing. Wasn't working. It's almost like they have it engineered and I'm not an engineer and I should just listen to them, but I didn't. Oh, also I tried out the algae, algae, You'll have to let me know. And mochi serums, I really like them. They're both very hydrating. The mochi one is a little sticky, which I do like because I have a, a serum from The Ordinary that is pretty sticky that I like that I always put on after moisturizer and it always feels like it. I don't know if it's true. Not a scientist, don't know if you know. I'm not, maybe I'll go back. I've been thinking about going back to grad school. Don't know why. Um, I think I just need to get out of the house and I think I need to not spend $60,000 on a degree. I think I just need to like, go for a walk or something. Grad school has been on the mind, but not for science. That wouldn't work. But I, uh, I like the sticky cause it feels like it's moisturizing me more. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's how that works, but it's how it feels. So that's probably honestly a little bit more important because also I just have acne prone skin and I think I'm kind of over and done pretending like it's awful. Like actually who cares? <laughs> Seriously, who cares? Not me, not anymore. I did, maybe it's cause I'm older, literally just got older. Anyways, um, so yeah, I have that set up. I have my little book set up. I'm also, this channel reads a lot of like fantasy, which is exciting and the fantasy I read, like Stephanie Garber and I wonder what else, cause that's the main one. If someone loves Stephanie Garber, it's an automatic green light that I'm meant to be there. So we'll see. I tend to like to watch people that also do lifestyle content or maybe are predominantly that and then started getting into reading because like the joy is infectious it's so fun and I just I think that I like to watch people that are reading for funsies not for like critical analysis not that there's anything wrong with critical analysis I obviously love it literally did it for five years to get a piece of paper but I just I did it for five years and then taught it I don't really want to do it right now like my brain is like I don't know I feel like I'm relearning how I want to be reading and that kind of sounds a little weird but I think that I love to escape <laughs> specifically in fantasy i just love fantasy and i watched someone read fourth wing and i was like dang do i dare to reread but the true thing is i need to go get that arc copy i have and see if there's an email on the back of that and see if i can get my grubby little hands on iron flame because i know i know i know in my heart of hearts that i want to do a reading vlog this is what i want to do inspired by miss Haley fam <laughs> Huge fan here. She does like the ultimate book video. It's like, I don't know, you go to a bookstore, do some book shopping, read the book or any book, really reading is just part of it. Do your book journal, just bookish things. It's like all these different concepts of book kind of videos into one big old one. And it tends to be a little bit shorter, a little bit more snappy with it. And I really like it. I really love them a lot. And I wanted to do that for Iron Flame because I feel like, honestly, Iron Flame is how excited I was when Aka War came out. Yeah, like it was a big deal to me. And Queen of Shadows, those were the two that I can recall. Queen of Shadows and then just the rest of the series. But Queen of Shadows was the first Throne of Glass. I, pick, I bring that up because it's one of my favorite series not random, but that was like the one where I was like, oh my God. And Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. It was Lady Midnight, Queen of Shadows, um, 
Winter by Marissa Meyer in the Lunar Chronicles. This is when I first got into reading and I just found these series and I wasn't really on anything. I just was excited about them, but I had never had that where I was super excited about a book release and that was one of them. And I now feel that way again about Iron Flame, which I also did feel about The Shadow Cabinet by Juno Dawson, which I am looking at as well. And I do want to read, which maybe that'll come after Chain of Iron. Depends on how Chain of Iron ends because my one of my besties keeps telling me that I'm gonna freak out at the end because I have a favorite character and I feel like if you know my type of characters that I really love you probably know who my favorite okay if you've read even just Chain of Gold please comment who you think my favorite character is in the Last Hours trilogy because I feel like it's obvious my friend knew immediately I didn't have to say it I feel like it's very like yeah that's that's very live coded <laughs> and I don't know why I just love them even in TV shows I those are the ones I go to I'm just like oh, I love you I hope that you're you get everything in life uh, you deserve joy honestly that's a lot of Cassandra Clare characters though anyways this is a random rambly moment I don't know why but it's, sometimes it's like it's a little nice you know it's a little nice to do this I'm trying to like stay off of the internet except for watching some videos you know like I keep saying on YouTube because that to me is like my TV that's my telly time but I'm trying to stay off of of it which has my partners doing too and what I tell you they've read like I want to say like six or so books in like the last week and a half what's that about let that be me um like let's bring that into this world for me please but I just I'm reading more too watching more videos I'm talking to y'all more I just think that I do better not online you know is anyone else like that I just think that yeah and I have a question if anyone works from home um do you have any like weekly things that you do to get out of the house because I really miss working outside of the house solely because I miss like that inherent interaction but I don't miss having to wear slacks I don't miss that especially with like that just didn't really make sense with my job. But anyways, let me know if you have any tips for that. I'm thinking like when it's not 107 degrees for a week in a row, uh, definitely going to walk in the morning, um, even just running around with Jake in the morning, things like that, sitting outside with coffee. Yeah, I just, I don't really know. It's kind of hot, so I don't really know what to do. Maybe I should just walk on the treadmill and close my eyes and hope I don't fall and pretend like I'm walking outside. I don't know. Let me know. I'm gonna go have my matcha and listen to my jazz and watch my reading vlog. And I will check in with you guys at a later time. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show Hello. me where Hello. Sorry to blow your mind with um, this fantastic angle, but I actually totally forgot to film a little outro clip for this. So, it's been a heck of a week. A lot of things have happened now. And some of them, are, all of them are real life things. One of them is potentially super awesome. Don't know if it's gonna happen. I'll tell you if it does. The other thing is super not awesome and super sad and that's just life. And I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> so that's fine. And then I don't have any reading updates for you. So I'm just gonna close this one out here. I'm gonna do a purple heart emoji because um i don't do that a lot and make sure that you drink your water stay hydrated be kind to everybody everywhere and i don't know what if you had a good day on purpose could be crazy 
could work. So go have a good day on purpose. And I will, too. To the best of my ability, that's all we could do. I'll see you later. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight.